Shout out to Brown, Aaron Smith Jr. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We had a legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fighter on the planet, the number one pound for pound king, the four division world champion, the undisputed super middleweight world champion, looking to be the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, and one of the greatest to ever lace him up. Then we have King Ryan Garcia, one of the hottest young stars in the game right now, all the skills in the world, and he has a high ceiling. But Ryan Garcia has came out and left the Canelo and Eddie uh, Reynoso count out of despite, out of jealousy, and because Ryan wanted to be number one, he wanted to be bigger than Canelo Alvarez, and I'm going to tell you all the truth. Ryan wanted to be Canelo Alvarez in the gym. You dig what I'm saying? He wanted to be the biggest name over Canelo Alvarez, and he wanted to be Canelo Alvarez. And I said it because if you look at the picture that I posted on my thumbnail, you can see Ryan Garcia with no smile on his face. You got Canelo smiling, Eddie smiling. Um, if you go look at the, the entire picture, you'll see Andy Ruiz smiling. You'll see Oscar Valdez smiling. Everybody's smiling, but who? But who? Oh, pretty boy ass, selfish ass Ryan Garcia. You feel what I'm saying? Pretty boy ass, selfish ass Ryan Garcia. Yeah, Ryan, I'm on your ass today. You're very disappointed in me, bro. You disappointed me. But nonetheless, Ryan wanted to be Canelo Alvarez, bro. He wanted to be the top shot of the gym. He wanted to call the shots. He thought he was going to run some shit. And I'm telling y'all, it's all a testament of um, Oscar De La Hoya, bro. All a testament. Oscar De La Hoya is making that boy feel like he bigger than Canelo Alvarez. Right? I want Canelo to come out and just, you know, err his ass out, Canelo. Come out and just tell the truth, bro. Come out and tell the truth, bro. Protect your honor, Canelo. Protect your honor, bro. I know you did everything in your powers to help that kid out. I know you even had Eddie being patient with Ryan Garcia. I know it. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. Canelo had to show Eddie just to be patient with the kid Ryan Garcia because he was just being a fuck up. You dig me? He didn't want to show up like Canelo Alvarez. He didn't want to work like Canelo Alvarez. He didn't want to be disciplined like Canelo Alvarez. He didn't want to listen like Canelo Alvarez. He didn't want to learn like Canelo Alvarez. You understand? So we know damn well his, his, his performance in the ring was going to be nowhere near like a Canelo Alvarez performance at the end of the fucking day. You dig me? But I want Canelo to tell the truth on this kid right here in Ryan Garcia, bro. Yes, you have speed and power. You have speed and power. But you think just because you have speed and power, you're going to knock every motherfucker out? That's what you're thinking, Ryan. Oh, yeah, you know, I got power. It's going to bail me out. It doesn't matter. These boys can't take my power. Once I hit them and I touch them, they're going to fall. No, 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 no. Boxing don't work like that. And I'm quite sure you know that shit as well. I'm quite sure you know it as well. Right? If that's the case, Canelo Alvarez won't be working so goddamn hard to stay disciplined, stay in shape, and work on what? A game plan to defeat his opponent. To defeat his opponent, bro. But when I look at you, Ryan, you think you can just come, you know, do what you want, and then after that, um, just take over in the ring. If push come to shove, knock a motherfucker out. Uh-uh. That one shot ain't gonna always be there, buddy. That one shot is not gonna always be there, buddy. Especially when you're picking up the competition. You understand what I'm saying? Especially when you're picking up the competition. And Canelo Alvarez knows that better than anybody. He knows that better than anybody. But what I, what I want Canelo to do... It's to come out and say, no, that kid didn't leave because he wanted more time. No, that kid didn't leave because he wanted to open up his own gym, as he put out there in the media. He didn't leave because he wanted to be, you know, uh, independent on his own because, you know, he felt like he could do this. No, he left because he wanted my spot. He left because he wanted my spot. He seen the accolades I was achieving. He seen the cameras in my face. He seen the contracts and the money I was getting, right? He see how everybody gravitate towards me asking for advice on shots and how to do this in the ring and how to do that in the ring. He see my brand. He see my fan base. And he understand that I am that dude. He understand that. And he want that position. He want that position without putting in the hard work that I put in. You feel me? He want that position without putting in the hard work that I put in. 
Right? He thinks shit just comes overnight because you got a nice following. You understand? Because you can punch. Because you got speed. And because you make a few million dollars. You understand? I'm a nine-figure man, kid. Canelo Alvarez is a nine-figure man. I want y'all to let that sink in, man. Y'all don't understand the significance of that shit, bro. Canelo Alvarez is a nine-figure man. He don't have to do nothing else for the rest of his life if he don't want to, bro. Canelo can sit on his ass, be lazy, have all the fun in the world, and his kids still going to be straight when he die. You understand? But you got a nine-figure man in there outworking you. You got a nine-figure man in there outworking you. And you haven't won your first world title yet? You haven't won your first world title yet? And yet you got this fucking four-division world champion? Undisputed super middleweight world champion? The hottest motherfucker in the game? The pound-for-pound pound king? You dig? Who has all the accolades in the world, all the money in the world? And he outworking you. And you were embarrassed, bro. You are embarrassed. Because you wonder how the fuck he got that work ethic and you don't. You don't. Canelo training like he's broke. Like he don't have a dime to his name. Like this is his first professional fight. And you sitting your ass up here lollygagging. Want to play around. Want to talk. Want to fake shadow box. And after all that, you want to go backstab me. You understand? But it's jealousy, bro. You want Canelo Alvarez's spot without putting in the fucking work. You feel me? Without putting in the fucking work. Canelo been professional since he was 15 years of age. World champion by the age of 20 years of age. Right? Professional at, at 15. World champion by the age 20, bro. By the age 20. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. And he went on from there to just become even greater. But he always had the hard work. He always had the discipline, the determination to be that. To be that. To want to be great. To want to go fight nothing but the best. To step in the ring with the motherfucking arguably greatest fighter of all time at the age of 23. And really want it. And really want it. You understand? You got to get that mentality, Ryan. You will never have Canelo Alvarez mentality, bro. Never. You, you showed that to me. When I'm the one that tried to give you the benefit of the doubt and take up for you when people was kicking you up the ass. But now you showed to me that you will never, ever be on the Canelo Alvarez level. Ever, bro. Because you're easy to influence. Easy. Oscar De La Hoya got into your head and he fucked you up, bro. That's why you're having mental issues in my opinion. Oscar De La Hoya, fuck your head up, bro. Seriously. And this is not me being disrespectful, but these are the facts. You let Oscar De La Hoya fuck your head up, bro. Really. You right there with the king, Canelo Alvarez. And you turn your back on him, you go backstab him, you walk out the door on him. We don't want nothing but the best for you, kid. Nothing but the best for you. But you looking at him with envy. Didn't even thank him for everything he's done for you. Right? You don't even thank Canelo Alvarez for everything he's done for you? Stood up for your ass? When Eddie probably wanted to kick your ass out the gym earlier, he taught Eddie how to be patient with your ass? Okay. You'll see what's coming to you in the future. You'll see what's coming to you in the future. You understand? But at the end of the day, Flash, you can't have Canelo Alvarez spot, Flash. You can't have it. You feel me? You can't have it, bro. You can't get it. Because you ain't got it. So you might go on to be a world champion. I'm not, I'm not taking nothing away from you. I'm not saying your speed, your power won't carry you, you know, to, to a world title shot. But I tell you, you'll never be a four-division world champion. I tell you, you'll never be an undisputed world champion. You feel me? I tell you, you'll never be the pound-for-pound pound king of boxing. I tell you, you'll never be the face of boxing. Right? Because you don't have the mindset. Because if you did have the mindset, there's no fucking way you're walking away from Canelo Alvarez. Right now, we can teach you everything that you need to learn from. Everything you need is right there in Canelo Alvarez, and you walk your punk ass out the door because you're not mentally tough enough to take the, the pressure that Canelo put on you to be great. 
When he tell you to stay in the gym. When he tell you don't waste your talent. When he tell you work hard and be more disciplined. You feel me? Boxing is therapeutic, man. It's therapeutic for you. That's where you can let all the bullshit go and just focus on one task. One task. Clear your mind out. But you don't know how to do that. And you had somebody right there who did with Canelo Alvarez. Like I said, who been through everything that you've been through. But you turned your back. You turned your back. You think you fucking David Ruffin of the Temptations. And you're not. And you're going to find that out pretty soon, buddy. Pretty soon. Because I promise you, Canelo Alvarez will be victorious from here on out. I don't know about you. I really don't know about you. You can't keep switching trainers after trainers after trainers and think shit go work out for you. At a young fucking age at that, bro. At a young age at that. So at the end of the day, everybody, Ryan Garcia did not leave because he wanted more time, because he wanted his own gym, because he wanted independency. Ryan Garcia left because he wanted to be Canelo Alvarez. He wanted Canelo Alvarez's spot. You did. Flash wanted Canelo Alvarez's spot, and it just didn't happen. Because Canelo is what? A fucking legend. Canelo is what? A fucking legend. Canelo is what? A fucking legend. Something that Ryan Garcia would never know about. And I'm standing on it. I wish him all the best. I'm still a fan. But I'll see how his career play out. Good luck to you in the future, kid. Because you're going to need it. Shouts out to my guy, King Canelo, man. Keep grinding. Keep being you. Until then, it's your boy Money's the end. As we see moving, ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Trey out the 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.